Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is your guide to the Watcher pet battle on Argus. I'm going to start with a super quick strategy for everyday world questing, and then go through strategies for every single pet family for progress on the Family Fighter achievement. Watcher lives here in the Antorn Wastes. For a self-proclaimed Watcher, he is surprisingly violent. First is the fast strategy for when you just want to get your world quest done, which also doubles as the beast strat. In your first slot, put any beast, and in your third slot, put any beast. In the middle, grab your Zandalari Ankle Render or Knee Biter with Hunting Party, Black Claw, and Leap. Start the fight with a brave, sacrificial beast who takes one for the team. Then bring in your Zandalari Raptor and use Black Claw, then Hunting Party, and then Leap. If you are going to invest in just one pet to help you with all of the Argus bosses, it's gotta be this guy. Next, we'll do Aquatic. In my first slot is a young mutant war turtle with Jab, Smoke Bomb, and Tornado Punch. Second is Gazruki with Bite and Geyser. Third, I've got Benax with Bubble, Mudslide, and Water Jet. Start with the war turtle and use Smoke Bomb, then Tornado Punch, and then swap to Gazruki. Use Geyser, then Bite once and get roasted. Bring back the war turtle and use Tornado Punch, then Jab, then Smoke Bomb, then swap in Benax. Use Bubble, then Mudslide, and then spam Water Jet until your Benax dies to the Antan Cannon. Bring back the War Turtle and Tornado Punch your way to victory. Next, we've got Critter. First slot is a Sneaky Marmot with Jab, Blinding Poison, and Smoke Bomb. Second is any Critter with Stampede. Bonus points if it has a lot of health, or attack, or both. In the third slot, I've got my Darkman Hatchling with Trample and Predatory Strike. The Lovebird with Predatory Strike would also probably do fine. Okay, so if he crits your Marmot, you gotta start over, but this is so beautiful that it's worth it. Start with Smoke Bomb, then Jab twice, then Blinding Powder, and then Jab twice more. Smoke Bomb, then Blinding Powder, then Jab three more times. This Marmot is an absolute legend. After he finally dies, bring in your Stampede pet and use Stampede. It's fine if you only get one round in. On the Darkman Hatchling, if he has less than 450 health, use Predatory Strike. If he's above that mark, trample once and then predatory strike. Next up is Elemental. In my first slot, I'm using the Jade Fire Spirit with Jade Breath and Fade, while in my second and third slots, I'm using a Fell Flame and a Searing Scorchling with Flame Breath, Scorched Earth, and Conflagrate. Start with the Jade Fire Spirit and use Fade. That will swap for a random one of your pets, but they're using the same move, so it doesn't matter which. On your Flame Dude, use Scorched Earth, then Flame Breath, then Conflagrate, then Flame Breath. That's about the limit of my Fell Flame, so I'll bring in the Scorchling and do the same thing, or as much of it as we need to win. Next, we'll do Humanoid. In your first slot, use a pet with deflection, such as the Anubisath Idol or the Ravager Hatchling. In second, we've got Squirky with Bubble and Stampede. Third is a Winter's Helper with Ice Lance, Call Winter, and Gift of Winter's Veil. Start with the Deflection pet, use Deflection, and then swap to Squirky. Use Bubble, and then Stampede as much as squirkily possible. After Squirky dies, bring in your Winter's Helper and chuck a Gift of Winter's Veil at him. To finish it off, we'll use Call Winter and then spam Ice Lance. Next up is Mechanical. I've got my Pocket Cannon with Cannon Shot and Explode, while second is the Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling with Breath and Decoy. The third pet can be any mech you like. Start with the Pocket Cannon and use Cannon Shot twice, and then Explode. It's a shame that the cannon doesn't have some kind of dragon projectile. Bring in the Mech Panda Dragonling and use Decoy, and then spam Breath. That is the whole fight. This eye hits hard, but thankfully he doesn't have a ton of health. That brings us to Dragonkin. In your first slot, use any dragon, it doesn't even need to be leveled. Second, I've got my Twilight Clutch Sister with Tail Sweep, Phase Shift, and Twilight Meteorite. Third, I'm using my Spawn of Anixia with Tail Sweep and Lift Off. Start with your rando dragon and watch it get tragically sacrificed to appease the cannon. Bring in the Twilight Clutch Sister and use Twilight Meteorite, and then Tail Sweep, and then Phase Shift. Tail sweep once more before you get fried. Bring in the baby Anixia and use tail sweep once, then lift off, and then tail sweep. Next is flying. In my first slot is my Sentinel's companion with Dark Talon, Soul Rush, and Ethereal. Second is Firewing with Scorched Earth and Murder, and third is my Nether Ray Fry with Tail Sweep. Start with the Sentinel's companion, use Ethereal, and then swap to Firewing. Use Scorched Earth, and then Murder. Firewing dies, so bring in another ray and get the world's juiciest tail sweep. You really just get the one, so he dies and we bring back the Sentinel's companion. Use Soul Rush. If that does not kill him, then go Ethereal, then Dark Talon, but in this case, we're done. Next is Magic. For simplicity's sake, I'm busting out three Mana Worms, all equipped with Feedback and Deflection. 
Start with deflection, then spam feedback and use deflection when it comes up. Keep an eye on his ante and cannon cooldown though, and make sure that on your second worm, you hold the deflection for that. If you've ever fought a gym in Pokemon Go, this feels pretty much exactly like that, but with fewer people judging you for loitering. Last is Undead. The first slot is our Unborn Valkyr with Curse of Doom and Unholy Ascension, and second is a Scourged Whelp with Tail Sweep and nothing else matters. Start with the Valk, use Curse of Doom, then Unholy Ascension. On your Scourged Whelp, mash Tail Sweep until he gives up and dies. There's really no messing this one up. So that's Family Fighter Watcher. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Subscribe for the rest of the Family Fighter guides and other super cool web videos. Let me know what you think. Share your own strategies in the comments if you like and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.